الله أكبر إياك نعبد وإياك نستقدر فهدا والذي Our men and our women who should practice the deen of Allah show the people the lifestyle I never planned to go out of Afghanistan. I decided that I'll be staying in Afghanistan for as long as I can and work as hard as I can to make a difference in the country. Just a couple of months before the U.S. withdrawal or the uh, Kabul's fall to Taliban, I was still working in Afghanistan and I still had hopes. Everybody had hopes that things are going to get better. There's going to be peace treaty and the current government and the Taliban leadership are going to agree on peace deals and things are going to get better and better. When the government fell and when the U.S. troops left, uh, that's when we decided that uh, it might be a good time uh, for us to reconsider uh, our home. Due to the work background that I had with my previous employer, I probably would have been in danger. Regardless of that, uh, due to the uncertainty and everything that was going on, uh, it just wasn't worth the risk of staying anymore. I have two older daughters and my son was only six months old when we came. Because I was an SIV applicant, I ended up in one of evacuation flights for a month and a half in a refugee camp. And after that, when we came to San Diego, I stayed with my cousin for some time looking for permanent housing. I already had a job when I came. I was continuing to work with the company that I used to work for and I still work with them and I pride in that. Some foreign clients that are based in other countries, let's say in the US, in Canada, in the UK, and they have operations in Afghanistan, they need staffing services, they need accounting service, they need procurement and vetting services and so on. We basically provide that for them in country in Afghanistan. I'm always an ambitious person. I always uh, believe that uh, there's room for improvement. I worked on my education equivalents and had to get the U.S. equivalency for uh, my international qualifications that I had. Now I've registered with the U.S. CPA. I plan to establish my own accounting firm down the line someday, plus any other business ventures that I can come across, I'm going to grab those opportunities. Now is a good time. I definitely started to feel like this is the new home. We are starting to get acquainted to it, but I do want to keep in mind that Afghanistan is also my home. How about your kids? I mean, you're gonna, they're going to grow up Americans. Oh, yeah, that is going to be a challenge. I do plan to keep them you know, into the community, have them go to the Islamic centers so that they're aware of the Islamic uh, values, the cultures. I do want them to become Americans, but I also do want them to be at the same time Afghans. I want them to have not just one language, but three languages, which is uh, both of my national languages, Pashto and Dari, as well as English. I want all of that to go parallel, and, I, and I'll definitely work hard on making sure that I do achieve that goal.